Yeah, this this game had a lot of importance on the line for us, for pride. It didn't matter if conference is already determined there. Uh, you know, this this was about one team versus another, and you had the most pride on the line late in the season. That pride that Coach Brown was talking about was on display at the end of the third and into the fourth quarter after Lincoln outscored the Tornadoes 14 to four in the third, and Nick Livingston gets a foul at the end. Tornado started to battle back. Ryan S. misses his shot short, but they play solid defense on the other end, leading to Lincoln missing their shot. On the ensuing possession and the Tornado's down five, Brandon Odom hits Nick Livingston in the middle of the lane. He kicks it out to Jack. Jack finds Nick. Nick's three is long, but Will Kettlecamp comes away with one of his 13 rebounds. They kick it back to Jack, who sinks his fifth of six threes in the game. Several minutes later, Brandon Odom sticks the good defense, gets the ball, and pokes it away. On the ensuing possession, Jack kicks it to Nick. Nick back to Jack. Jack around to Ryan S. S to Jack, Jack to Nick, Nick cashes in the three, and the Tornadoes tie the game at 41. Caden Froby drives in in the closing seconds, trying to make something happen. Gets it to Will Ewald. Ewald's shot is blocked. Froby gets inside, but Nick Livingston takes a big charge that gets the Tornado fans back into the game. S gets it into Bergschneider, but Dylan Singleton nearly gets the steal. S gives it up to Nick Livingston, and the Tornadoes call a timeout. 7.4 left in the game. Ryan S. gets it into Bergschneider. Bergschneider falls, keeps his dribble alive, finds S., who finds Jack Livingston in the corner, wide open for three. He cashes it in for his sixth of the night. The Tornadoes go on to win 44-41, to breaking a 26-game losing streak against Lincoln. Uh, yeah, you know, that was uh, obviously huge. I mean, they had all that collapse action going around Chase. Chase was able to kick it out of there, and then we found Jack with uh, the, the most wide-open look he's had all season. That's That was an easy one. Um, I don't think when I shoot, I don't know what it is. I just don't think. I just can't shoot. I just the rim and shoot but I want. I just got to stay positive and trust my teammates and trust that they'll get it done for us on the uh, offensive end. Will you know, Kettlecamp, for example, played great defense, bodying up in the middle. The rest of the team just took care of business. Our guys did a nice job of staying poised and, and, and just kind of getting through things. You know, we had Nick with a foul quick and Jason with a foul quick and Jack with a foul quick, all there in the first uh, two or three minutes of the game. So, you know, our guys did a nice job of staying disciplined and uh, not using their hands too much, using their feet, and just poured a ton of effort in on the defense tonight. I think it's important not to lose track of what's next. You know, all of us care if we beat Lincoln. Uh, that does not matter to uh, uh, to them. They are a fantastic team in, in 4A. So, you know, hey, it's, it's going to be a fun bus ride. And, and uh, But tomorrow we have to hit the reset button and get focused on all of them. That's what we do. We've been really good about staying present, not looking at it too much. So tomorrow morning hits, uh, it's about all of them now.